give yourselves a round of applause. It's powerful. You did the second principle. You took action. And action is something that David Schwartz, the author of a book called The Magic of Thinking Big, which I read years ago. If I don't remember anything else in that book, I remember these three words. Action cures fear. And I love what Eleanor Roosevelt said. Here's what she said. She says, you gain strength, you gain courage, and you gain confidence in every instance in which you step up to look fear in the face. You must literally learn to do the things that you think you cannot do. Motivation, action. How do we make things work for 25 years? We make things work for 25 years because we're committed to the process. How much of a commitment are you willing to make? How much time, how much energy, and how much effort are you willing to invest in order to make it effective? Motivation, action, commitment, change. That's the next one. Change. Wow. Carl Deutsch, a noted Harvard professor, said this about the concept of change. The single greatest power that we have in the world today is the power to change. The most reckless, the most irresponsible thing we can do is to go on living the next 10 or the next 15 years like we've lived the last five or the last 10. I can think of no more dangerous policy than that kind of conservatistic thinking that exists in our country today. We have to be willing to change. Motivation, action, commitment, change, enthusiasm, and I have to tell you, attitude. Attitude is the biggie, isn't it? If there's an elephant in the room, it's attitude. Charles Spindle had it right when he said, the longer I live, the more I realize. You know it, don't you? The longer I live, the more I realize the impact that what? Attitude has upon life. It's more important than fact, it's more important than the past, than education, than what other people think or say or do. It's more important than appearance, than giftedness or skill. It can make or break a church, a family, a home, a business. And here's the remarkable thing. Each and every single day of our lives, we can embrace a certain attitude. We cannot change anything. Life is 10% of what happens to you. But 90% of how you respond to it in every given situation. And last but not least, I have to tell you, Roscoe Dungy said it this way. Most individuals do not succeed because they were destined to succeed. They succeed because they were determined. That is the key. And if there is anything of notable importance that I would want to leave leaders of leaders with, it would be these words, the words of Roosevelt, when he said, do not choose to be common. It is your right to be uncommon. Seek opportunity to develop whatever talents God gave you, not security. Do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dull by having the states to look after you. Learn to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. Prefer the challenges of life to guaranteed existence and the thrill of fulfillment to the stale calm of utopia. Do not trade your freedom for beneficence, nor your dignity for a handout. Never cower before any earthly master, nor bend to any threat. Why? Because it is your heritage to stand erect, to stand proud, to stand unafraid, to think and to act yourself, and to enjoy the benefits of your creation, and to face the world boldly and say, This 
with God's help, I have done. All of this is what it means to be an American. Thank you so much for having me.